we have six panelists, and uh, each of them brings a wealth of experience and, and insights into this. And rather than follow the order which is on your program, uh, I'd like to reverse it, because that's part of the disorder in the world now. You know, we, should, <laughs> we should not imagine that things are happening according to the rules that we agreed a few uh, years ago. And so, if you permit me, I'd like to actually start off by asking Madame Touré, I mean, Madame Touré, who is, uh, of course, the former Prime Minister of, of Senegal, and was on the same panel, uh, our, our discussion about some of the same issues at last year's World Policy Conference as well. So, Madame la Premier Ministre, I want to turn to you first, Aminata, and ask you, do you feel that the world economic order is, is stable, is changing? Do you have a vision of where it's going? How is it affecting the countries that, that you're most familiar with? Thank you very much. Let me uh, just say how uh, happy I am to be here, and uh, thank you for <clears throat> taking this going as a tradition. Well, you know, when you, when, when, you, when, when you age and you put on some weight, and you look at this very nice suit, because there, is, there are only men here, so I'm going to take the suit example, and you want to just fit into, into the one that you used to wear in your 30s. But that's what the world looked like. Um, you do have, you know, old powers that you used to dominate, um, and they still want to keep things going because it's enjoyable to, you know, benefit from privileges. Uh, but in between, you have, um, you know, one part of the world that caught up or want to caught, want to want to catch up, uh, and then you move from what looks like a stable environment, but it was not for many people coming from Africa, obviously. Um, we want a new order, for, for sure. Um, and uh, you do also have within countries um, some groups that also want a new order that is more uh, equal, that is more human rights-centered, um, that is more dignified for people. So you do have this tension uh, that is now being expressed uh, through different ways, um, not the most peaceful or the most positive ways, but definitely when you look into the 54 countries in Africa out of the 194, it's, it's quite a number. Uh, and what they would like to see is something different. They want to industrialize. Um, they want uh, to be more present. They want to see that the Security Council, they've been <laughs> talking about it for so many years. So we do believe that um, a disorder is not that bad if you want to sort of be more present and you have your right more realized. So I think um, the disorder is called uh, by many peoples, including women. I mean, look at the, look at the, look at the room. Every year, that's the same story. <laughs> Black suits, um, older men. Uh, not very diversified, um, uh, WASP, as we said. I mean, let me just, that's the morning, but that's, that's the reality I'm facing, I'm seeing. So we want a new world, definitely, that is more gender equitable, for sure. Um, how many women are leading countries? Very few, or prime ministers or ministers? Very, very few, regardless of the level of revenues or uh, industrialization stage, doesn't matter. This is an, a very old order. The, the, the boys' club, or the old boys' club, um, that is being very challenged. Um, right into, I mean, even in Africa, look at the, 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 the average of the population, the age. The medium age is 19. Well, it's 44 in Europe, by the way. Um, and you, there are nowhere to be seen. The elite is six year old plus. These are the ministers, the presidents, of course, and uh, um, well, they benefit from everything. But they are only 3% of the population. So these young people and these women want a disorder and we want a reshuffle of the cards. Um, so it is expressed, as I said, disorderly. Um, not, they don't have you know, the, the chance of sitting where I'm sitting and saying it, but it's, 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 it's really something that we need to look into 
if we want to move to a, a new stage that is on. Economically, of, obviously, um, you do have, you know, Africa, I can take Senegal, we do have a very old relationship with, with France. But how is it now that France is being, you know, phased out, um, you know, in many countries? Um, you, you, if you follow the economy, Mali, Burkina Faso, um, Niger being the case in point, so what didn't go right for that to happen for such a long relationship? Well, what didn't happen is, you know, the, the, the hope for development didn't happen. So why would you entertain a relationship? It's like a battle a wife <laughs> in a couple somehow. Um, if you're unhappy, why would you keep that going? Um, are you going to replace it by something new that will be better? It remains to be seen, obviously, but when you have new partners and new players in the economic field, I'm talking about the Brazil, the Chinas, and the whoever is, uh, you know, there, well, you attempt to look in another way. So, in a nutshell, definitely what we would like to see, um, do we have to go through this order? It looks like it, and we are in the middle of it. Uh, by the way, when you talk about change, most of the time it's because it's, it, it's already happened. Um, so what we need to see is more equality, more justice, um, more representation of women, uh, young people being there, uh, more uh, race diverse, that, that, that's also uh, an issue, uh, that we really need to, to, to look into the new world we want to build through uh, what we are doing now, discussing, but discussing very honestly and putting, having the courage to put issue on the table. We right. are unhappy with the states of international affair. That's what it is. And how are we going together to work together and make sure that we do have the dresses and the suits uh, that fits everybody and everybody's happy with. So that's uh, my, my first take on the issue. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Uh, I mean, I think for, for raising sort of not just what people are unhappy about, but also some of the attributes of what people would like to see in, in a new uh, international order. I think we'll come back in the second round to ask you whether you see us moving in that direction. What are the forces that will get us there? So if you were to look five years out or 10 years out, are we moving closer to that vision or are we basically uh, staying in, in, in a set of relationships that lead to all these, uh, not just resentments, but I think also increasing anger, I think, in, in many parts. Uh -huh.